Hello everyone, welcome back to GK Code Labs. In this video, we'll be discussing a very simple concept, but yet I have seen people get uh, very much confused when uh, very specific to the point questions are asked on this topic uh, in the Spark interviews. Spark or you can say uh, big data interviews. So this is about the insert and overrides that may happen in Spark or uh, Hive scenarios given uh, to you. So cutting it short, I'll be describing the seven specific scenarios that are uh, usually uh, very important when any uh, business requirement is asked and hence they become very important uh, for you to be uh, aware of when going for a big data interview. So I have listed uh, these seven points. The points that we'll be discussing are uh, writing a data to a location, writing data to a location date wise. This date, uh, it's not uh, mandatorily a date. Uh, you can, uh, depending upon your data set, this can uh, vary from your, uh, like you have a, a city wise data. So you, the, this can happen like city wise, state wise, gender wise, whatever. I'm uh, taking date as an uh, example. Now, overwriting the data, I, I'll get into like uh, deep uh, points. Point wise, uh, they might sound simple, but what are the catches I'll be describing further. Then overwriting the data only for that specific partition or date, then appending daily data, then appending only for specific day and overwrite or append data only when there is no data existing for that date. So uh, these are only the points we'll uh, go through one by one. So first, uh, writing data to a location. You can understand uh, if you have uh, an idea, otherwise uh, writing data to a location in Spark, you have a data frame, let's say, you can do that simply by df.write and the format. Let's say for CSV here, uh, df.write.csv and you can describe your location. Second point, writing the data date wise or uh, whatever partitioning column you have. In that case, you can do df.write partition by date and your location. Very important thing to note here is if you partition by any column and then after your data is getting written and you open that file, let's say it is CSV or any readable, readable format that particular partitioned column will not be there in your file. So uh, some people uh, will let's say, hey, uh, where is my uh, column, date column? So that is actually there. But if you read it only from one location behind that, like one folder behind that, because you will see date wise partitions. So if you read it uh, from the location where you actually see all the date partition, you will read from there you will actually get that column in your data frame. But if you go inside that, let's say today is 30th December. If you go inside 30th December folder and you read that data, your column will be missing. But uh, that's uh, hardly any issue because actually you will be read reading the data from that entire uh, folder path. So uh, just a point to note, I have told you. Uh, coming to third scenario where you have to overwrite the data. Now, uh, here, what you can do is uh, partition by date and save mode will be override. But in that case, uh, just make sure whatever data you will be writing. Let's say you loaded the data for 30th December. Now you are loading for 31st December. In that case, for this mode, your data for 30th December will also get lost because the entire um, uh, folder where you are writing will get overwritten. So point to be noted. Now. A uh, very important uh, interview question that how will you overwrite the data only for a specific partition like we discussed. We have to overwrite the data only for 30th December. How will you do that? You can do that if you know the partition naming format, but that is usually not the case, right? Uh, you just know the date, um, uh, whatever date I am overwriting. Um, it should not be overwriting any other date. So for that case, you have to use same thing, partition by date and mode override. But one more uh, additional property that you have to set is partitioning override mode as dynamic. So in that case, 
um, if a data occurs for any uh, particular date only that particular partition will be overridden so hope you get it now coming to append scenarios let's say you uh, don't have to override anything you just have to append the data uh, whatever you are getting so uh, in the same uh, scene that what we are doing just uh, change the mode to append in that case uh, if a partition doesn't exist it will be created obviously and again if you have to append actual uh, partition again the same that we discussed you have to set the uh, override property as dynamic and then if you append it only that particular partition will be appended that means like uh, your uh, another file another part file will be created in that particular partition now the last and the very important scenario that uh, let's say there is a requirement that um, you already inserted on uh, 30th december now coming to 31st december now the requirement is if at all let's say you have been inserting since uh, 20th december now the requirement is if at all whatever date are coming in my select statement if at all we have a partition for that then don't do anything don't insert or update just leave it untouched if it is not there then insert it so uh, basically it is different from insert override because if the partition exists we actually don't want to override it or append there if it exists we just don't want to do anything if it doesn't we will create a partition and write it there so append or override doesn't actually uh, apply there because if it is already there uh, we don't have to append or override we don't have to do anything so in that case there is very important function there is another mode ignore so that is what you have to do here here dynamic partition uh, doesn't matter you don't have to do it uh, only uh, just use ignore mode over there and that will serve your purpose so uh, these were few important points i uh, thought of like uh, there are uh, these are very common uh, use cases or requirements that you might get and uh, uh, these points you can keep on your fingertips that what mode and what properties you have to set to achieve uh, these respective requirements so thank you guys for watching this video if you really liked it please hit that like button and please subscribe to gk code labs if you have not already done thank you guys see you later